y'all doing? My name is Eddie Lewis Walker. I was born in 1949, June the 3rd. And I've lived all of this life up until now with God. And um, I just want you to know this. Because I'm sitting here as a living witness that God is real. And that God loves you so much unconditionally, whether you're good or bad, you're going to love you all the time, 100. 100, all the time, all the time. Because without him, we wouldn't be here. I know I wouldn't. My name is Michael X. I consider myself as an unknown child, child of light. I'm out here homeless in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm doing the best I can to do what I can do to survive. Homeless people got a lot of problems. Everybody else got problems, but we got mad problems because we choose to be homeless. We are suffering from the situation of not really trying to take on responsibilities in our lives. Why? Because we don't want no responsibilities. We don't want to pay no rent. I feel, like I said, I feel more comfortable. I'm around people that was close to me. I feel comfortable alienated from them. God put me there so I can get a little peace of mind. I got peace of mind in an abandoned house. It was abandoned. What about there but me? Great, but here. See, here I have broke. I, um, these old drug dealer boys. They, 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 they didn't appreciate me terribly. They can't be here and everything, so they broke. I was standing in the doorway. They grabbed me and pushed me. I had a mirror set up there, just like that there. And it broke, it's still laying right there. Broke, I broke the mirror because we had the scuffling. And uh, I still got that one left. I'm going to take that with me. I'm going to get that there with me. What happened, I knew, I didn't know what had happened, but I was, people might, people like there probably don't know anything about Vizine, I dropped, but I was Vizine. They put Vizine in my drink. And when I went to sleep, I didn't wake up. They tried to kill me while I was knocked out by that Vizine. And they beat me in my head with a hammer, cracked my skull. And, uh, It was so sad because when I awakened out of a, a deep sleep, comatose, for three and a half months, I didn't know what had happened. But I was hitting the head with him. Somebody tried to kill me in my sleep. I, 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 I couldn't believe it, you know. But God was there to him, and uh, he took care of me. The doctor had gave up on me, didn't think I was going to make it. I had two head operations. I had a brain aneurysm. I had two strokes. And they didn't think I was going to make it. 
And my family said that he did. That's what they said. But God said he's not dead. He lives in me. And I live in him forever. This is what I'm trying to tell you. With God, you have everlasting life. You don't die. God don't die. If you in God, you don't die either. You live forever.